Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video and another exotic weapon video. Recently, I've been revisiting exotic weapons that I either recently acquired or just never got around to leveling up. And today, this weapon falls under both the recently acquired and never quite finished leveling category. And the weapon I'm talking about is Yalahorn. Now Yalahorn is arguably one of, if not the most, sought after exotic in the game. And to this date, has only ever been sold by Zur once. The kicker is that a lot of people, myself included, saw Yalahorn the first and only time it came around in Zur's stock and thought, I don't want to spend all my coins on a rocket launcher, I'd rather buy some armour. After all, it was shortly after Destiny's launch that it was sold, so people were still levelling up and they were after armour to help them level. So, the weekend it was for sale, I went off, bought my armour piece thinking I made a good move, only to discover later on that Yalahorn, alongside Icebreaker, is one of the best exotics in the game and not buying it was quite possibly the biggest mistake I'd ever made. Either way, fast forward to about a month ago and I managed to secure it during a weekly nightfall strike. But history lessons aside, let's now actually talk about the weapon itself and why it's so good. So first up, as stated, it's an exotic rocket launcher and it deals solar damage. It has a large blast radius, great velocity, great stability and even reload speed. Plus, you can also carry two rockets in the chamber meaning you can dish out twice the carnage between each reload. But where this weapon really comes into its own are the following two perks. Tracking, shells fired from this weapon track their targets, and wolfpack rounds, rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. These combined are a lethal combination, especially on bosses. If you've ever been on anything like Destiny LFG, when you're trying to find a raid party, then you've no doubt seen that people, rather irritatingly, state that having a fully maxed Yalahorn is a requirement. And while this is by no means the case and you can quite happily complete raids without them, I for one with my team have done so many many times, but the reason they do this is because it is such a formidable weapon. If you have a team of people using these on bosses, they'll burn down its health in no time. And if there's a solar burn, well, it's basically game over before the fight even begun. But you already know this, you know Yellowhorn is good, that's why you want it. So let's talk about it briefly as both a PvE and a PvP weapon. In PvE it goes without saying this is a slayer, provided you have ammo this is a good weapon to carry into a boss battle. It's probably not worth using so much on smaller groups of enemies, sure it'll do the job but they'll all be dead before the Wolfpack rounds can even do their thing, so it's worth saving your ammo. But what about PvP? The thing about PvP is that as you are no doubt aware, Heavy ammo usually only comes around twice a match, which means if you bring this into the Crucible, it's useless for about 80% of the match. That being said, when you do have heavy ammo, it is obviously an effective killer. But then so is any rocket launcher provided you can land the hit. The tracking is useful when shooting a fleeing enemy, but if you want a tracking rocket launcher for use in the Crucible, then you're far better off using Truth. It tracks far more aggressively, and the perk that allows rockets to detonate prematurely based on proximity is also much more suited to Crucible play. So, while this can be used in PvP and will deal with your enemies, would I recommend it? Probably not. It takes a lot for me to give up my exotic weapon slot for a heavy weapon. I much prefer using exotic primaries or secondaries, but when you have Yalahorn, there are times when it really does make your life much easier. So, with all that said and done, Following suit with my recent weapon reviews, I'm going to give this gun two ratings. One from me, and one from 269, whom you should know both runs this channel with me and is the better Crucible player. Now I'm going to give this weapon five stars. Despite saying that I wouldn't use it in the Crucible, there is no denying its power in PvE, and it really is one of the most sought after weapons for a good reason. As for 269, he too gives this five stars, saying that, and I quote, it is basically the only true exotic weapon in the game, and it solves all of his problems when he has ammo for it. So there you have it, that is my weapon review for Yalahorn, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as always if you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like and hit that thumbs up button, and if you aren't already part of the Arax Gaming Nation, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have Yalahorn or not, and what is your favourite exotic weapon. Thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.